Whether you're a mother trying to design something cool for your kid's party or a business owner looking to create an ad without having to pay for the pictures, Midjourney can be helpful to create and generate pictures with AI in the style that your imagination desires. So let's dive into it. Midjourney is currently a small company and it needs another program to run. That program is Discord. All you need to do is download the Discord app, create an account, and once that done, go to midjourney.com, accept the invite, and you're in. You only have to do this once. Now let's talk about Midjourney. It looks a little bit like a messy chat. It kind of reminds me like Slack or ICQ for those of you who remember. Um, and what this means is that you're operating publicly. Everyone sees what everyone else is doing. What you're gonna do is go to any channel called newbies. That's where we all create our pictures. The only functionality that you need to know is this, slash imagine. When you say this on the chat, you'll notice that the message changes a little bit. Everything you described after slash imagine is going to be the image generated. In this example, I want to create a picture of Madison Square Park filled with zombies, but I want to do it in the style of Disney Pixar to make it a little bit less creepy. And don't worry, you creepos, if you want to get creepy with it, you can. <laughs> so, once you input slash imagine, followed by the image description, you add a coma and add the style that you want. It can be a cartoon, a professional photography, realistic, rendered, pixelated. You can say in the style of famous photographer Anne Leibovitz, anything. Your imagination is what limits you here. After that, the image slowly starts to generate. And once it's done, it'll appear at the bottom of the chat. Midjourney will create four images for you to choose from, and it'll give you different options. V1, 2, and 3 mean variations. If you press V2, for example, it'll give you four more variations on that image. U1, 2, 3, and 4 means ultra. If you press that button, it practically means that you've chosen that image and you want it in ultra high definition. The image will start generating and then you can save it and use it. All images created with it do not have copyright, which means that they can be used by anyone for anything. These are the basics of Midjourney. And as you familiarize yourself with it, you will realize that you can also upload a picture of yourself or really anything else and ask it to modify it or turn you into a Disney character, a superhero, a zombie, a monster, or anything else. I hope this class on the basics of Midjourney helped you and that you can find creative ways to use it to your advantage. I'm Roland Fodelgado. Follow me for more tips on using AI to tackle everyday challenges. See you next time.